Anyway, today, so again, today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So today I'm moving into the new studio, but it doesn't look quite like what I want. I want it to look like a stylish, concrete sort of um, studio and stuff with lo loads of cool lights. So I've got the um, LEDs, I've got the shelves, I've got everything, but the inside needs to be painted. And because I've done some videos about concrete, but every time in the comments people are like, oh, 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 I thought let's do uh, that one again. So I'm going to concentrate on this wall and I'm going to show you what I'm using to make this wall into um, looking like concrete. So the first thing I've got to do, I've got some plasterboards that haven't been painted, so I've got to prime them. So everything I'm going to use is basically this. So this is Leyland and Dulux. I'm in the UK. In the UK, um, it's mainly emulsion, which is PVA glue paint. If you were in America, it'd be probably latex paint, but it doesn't matter what you use. As long as it's water-based, <clears throat> you can replicate this. You could do exactly the same with oil-based, but whenever I put a lot of water, you'd want to put a lot of um, white spirit. But anyway, let's just stick to the water so it's not complicated. So I could protect the floor, but because I'm going to paint the floor as well, it doesn't matter as much um, splashes there are. So what I want is really those drips and when I'm when I come back tomorrow I mean this is way too thick I need a lot more water um, tomorrow because I want everything to run like a lot so the the, the light color and the dark color I want everything to run a lot but for today that'll be enough and as as for the plasterboards you want something like this. You want a lot of water in your paint, so it will soak into the plasterboard and to the filler. Because if you don't do that, what it does is it'll, um, it'll, it'll sort of dry, and whenever it's um, a bit humid in the room and, and warm, the paint will just flake, and then you've got flakes and you don't quite know why. That's because you apply the paint a bit too thick, but if you water it down, there's no problem. Okay, so I've got the base coat uh, laid down, but it's a bit too blue for my liking. So I want to change it and I want to balance it so it's a bit warmer, like um, the concrete that I'm looking for. There are lots of different uh, colors of concrete, so you can choose whatever gray you want. So what I've done is um, I've actually gone on the internet and compiled some pictures of different concrete flats and anything that looks kind of interesting with the look that I want. You know, it's all smooth concrete, nothing is like the rough concrete, which this would probably suit more. And what I've done is I've used a color picker on Photoshop and I've made a couple of wheels, uh, the top one for light colors and the bottom one for dark colors. Then I've blurred it and then I've sort of made an average. And from that, I've actually come up with two main colors. So this is basically going to help me come up with um, the main tones. But even though I've done that, it's a little bit too much towards the blue anyway. Um, so sometimes, depending on the light and the location and everything, you do have to try and adjust as you go. So this is the gray that I have from yesterday. And even though it doesn't really look blue on the camera, um, I guess the white balance of the camera is a little bit off uh, because it's a bit too much, a bit too blue. But it's also too dark and I want to have a much lighter um, uh, color, a bit like the table, like sort of this sort of color. So I'm going to add some brown with it because um, obviously it's too, uh, too blue towards the cold colors. So I'm going to balance it by going towards the warm colors. So I'm going to put a bit of this in there. And I want it quite a lot lighter. So I'm going to put a lot of white and I still got a lot of um, gray that I can add and black as well if, if needed. Okay. 
again, when I'm, um, by the time I'm done, there's, there's going to be quite a few different um, colors on the wall, different grays. So it doesn't really matter too much, you know, but I want to own a base that I'm happy with. Okay, so this is pigment, which you can get from some uh, DIY shops or paint shops. And um, whenever you get a color mixed, like you're buying this of a, of a normal, uh, well, this is actually black, but when you get like a base and then you pick your own color, the big machine they have is actually full of those. So it's kind of handy when you use those to kind of get the color right. You don't want to put too much because it's quite uh, strong, but I still got loads of um, brown and other colors, so I could always compensate in case it's not right. But it's best to add a bit and then, you know, check and put some more rather than have to, to, to do the whole thing again. This is what I had yesterday and this is the color today. So this is what I have and I think that looks a lot better. It's, um, it's, a, more, it's a warmer tone and I think it looks more like concrete. So I'm going to paint the entire room with this. And then afterwards what I'll do is I'll do some um, effects with some brown, some gray and some black and maybe a bit of white is all mixed, just to have different pattern. Okay, so quick update. Um, I've added um, a trim at the top and on this side, so it's gonna be a frame for, uh, this is gonna be where I'm gonna do the murals, the tutorials, and explain the step-by-step -step and so on. So when I did this, I realized actually the gray is a bit wrong. So this is, the gray that I'm going for, and this is the one from before. Um, and I think it's gonna be a better match. But the thing is, because this is plasterboard and the next step is to put a lot of water, having two or three coats on the walls is not a bad thing. It's, it's a good preparation because otherwise the water is just gonna make everything <laughs> So two, three coats is a good thing. One is a bit shy. And you can see the difference between uh, the one I painted and the one that was before. It's just a little dark. Okay, so now what I want to do is add this darker grey and put a lot of water with it. And um, basically the plan of uh, what this is going to do is um, one, I want to make some drips and two, I want to make some patterns. Okay, so now that the wall is done and I've got three coats on it, I've got an even gray, I can get on to the next step, which is painting randomly two different uh, grays. So I've got a dark one and a light one. So this is the light, uh, the dark hue, this is the light hue, and they both have a lot of water in it. The ratio would probably be about 70% water and 30% paint, and you can choose whatever color you like um, as far as those. So these are slightly different hues. That's slightly uh, towards the blue. This is slightly towards the um, pink, I guess. So as far as those, this is for you to decide what sort of color you wanna uh, get your concrete to look like. So I've done a, a test before on this side, and you can see this is a lot more, you know, dark blue kind of thing. But I realized this is not really the look I wanna go for. I wanna go for something a bit warmer in my videos. So I'm going to paint all of this with that kind of color, but that's up to you to decide. So this next step, I'm just going to put this on time, la time lapse again. Um, it doesn't have to be good and you don't want it to look um, good. You just want to make everything um, flow, basically. So as you're painting, you want to add the water, the paint, the water, the paint. You don't want it, you don't want it to dry until you're totally ready for it to um, dry and get to the next step.
Okay, for this next step, what I'm going to do is add a bit of uh, black pigment to this grey. Well, I could just use paint, but I've got pigments, so I'll well use. Mix it up. Make it nice and dark. And I'm going to mix it with um, a lot of water. Okay, so all together, I think it's probably about 20% paint, 10 to 20% paint to um, 80 to 90% water. And I'm going to start applying it. But because it's got so much water, um, it's going to sort of look a lot lighter than it actually is. So I might have to do this a couple of times with some uh, darker shade as well. And I just want to focus where in the corners and places where the concrete would have naturally um, sort of dripped when it was poured. Okay, so now I'm going to use the dark color I had and I'm going to put even more water in it. And the idea for that is so that you can barely see it and then it adds a bit of interest without being so noticeable because when the water dries, most of it is gone. Altogether, it's probably a ratio of, um, I'd say, 3 to 5% paint and the rest is water. So there's a lot of water on this. Okay, so at this point, if you like the look, you can leave it as it is, but I want something a lot lighter. So I've mixed up some um, the same color with a lot of white in it and off-white to make it a um, much lighter tone. And I've put a lot of water. I've put about 80% water to 20% uh, paint because I want all of this to show through, not 100% opacity. Um, so I'm going to work with the transparency. And as I'm painting it, uh, this is really, this is almost just water. And as I'm painting it, what I want to do is, I don't want to start and stuff in here, in the middle. I will do in some places, but I, what I want to do is try to do the entire length so then I don't have any jagged um, edges so it doesn't look like it was painted with a roller. And if I don't want to, if I want to stop halfway, what I, what I do is I feather it. So as I pull the roller, I pull it away. And for good measure, I'm going to add a bit of water.
Okay, I hope this was useful to you, and if you found it useful, put a like in this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe to the channel, there will be a video every Monday, so you can uh, look out for that, from paint effects to art to products, so loads of videos on the go, now that I've got a new workshop, I can film all of these videos. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next Monday.